Alright, so I've been trying to fight the urge to open some more Pokemon for a couple weeks now. Let's just do it and get it over with. Uh, excited. Um, gonna open another box of Evolving Skies today. Uh, see what we get. Uh, as always, check out cardpunk.games for all your sealed product needs, your pre-orders. Uh, we have some Evolving Skies, that's the only Pokemon set I bother to put up right now. We have Wixos, but mostly just Wise Swords. Uh, and obviously any pre-orders, including Wixos for the new set in March, are available as well. So, now that I've shilled, let's go ahead and open some Pokemon! So this is pretty exciting. Uh, really looking for Umbreon's. Uh, not just value-wise, we legitimately like Umbreon's. Uh, the Umbreon full art, though, is, uh, I forgot that doesn't have a pull tab. The Umbreon full art, though, uh, that would be real nice to hit. That's for the alternate art. Uh, that's, I think right around 190. First foil, first rare. Alright. Uh. Definitely looking for uh, really anything though. Uh, let's go ahead and look through some of the commons for a few packs. Then we'll uh, look at the uncommons at the uh, back of the pack as well. Another regular rare, Gorgeist. Low tab looks dope. Alright. Let's see, let's see. What are we going to get for our hits? Uh, it kind of gives it away, so we don't want to do the code card quite like that. Uh, looks like we have our first Halifoil, Reggie Drago. <laughs> I just love that hypno art. He, uh, he looks like that image of the Russian guy just squatting down, just doesn't have the uh, same clothes. Alright, no hits yet, that's okay, we got plenty more packs to go. Drowsy, Drampa, Ice Q, SQ looks nice though, Ice Q, SQ, not really sure. Uh, it was kind of cute he was riding the uh, other one's head. I wonder if they've done a card for him yet without the uh, ice head on. Scroll and a Gigalith. Alright, so now on, we're going to skip the commons and uncommons and just go to the foil slash the uh, rare. Oh, we got, uh, something here. A Rayquaza V. Nice. Not the V-Max, but we did get the V. That's good. Uh, lighting's probably not great with that box there. Alright, so that's our first hit of the box. Not bad. Uh, let's see. Lo or Ludicolo is uh, actually really good. Evil. I'm trying to remind to take the code cards out at the end. Do you have a fat stack of those sitting around? Alright, cutie fly and smurgle. So if you get to see a little bit more of my arm than uh, traditional openings as I reach over. But thumbs the brakes. Foil Marsh Shadow. Alright, we're, we're going to stop taking the code card out. That's, that's using up uh, too much time. It's only a second or two a pack for me, but uh, if you multiply it by the couple hundred people looking at the video... Ooh, Leafeon f alternate art! Ooh, we actually got an alternate art evolution today! Oh, 
sure. Let's leave it up while we take a quick look at the alt art. I'm pretty sure this is the alternate art. Oh, that looks nice. That's cool. Leafeon, not traditionally one of my favorite evolutions. I will say that. But it's really cool to get an alt art anyways. Uh, definitely, uh... Definitely not bad. Alright, let's see if we can get a second big hit in the box. A second alt art, a secret rare, a rainbow rare. Let's see. Uh, we're definitely due for some more V's and V Maxes though. It's, uh, I don't have a ton going on right now. But I guess we have a lot of packs left. It feels like Pokemon comes with a lot of packs. Going back up to uh, 36. I'm used to 36 for magic boxes, but since the majority of what we open is Y Swartz, I think that's why it feels so, uh, so hefty for me. But we still definitely have a few hits to go. Let's see if we can get some full arts especially. Uh, okay, that's interesting. The uh, code card in the back looks a little shiny on the edge. It's not, but it looks shiny. That was interesting. Thought we had a random uh, V in the back. Alright. Alright, so let's see. We have... Four more packs in this side of the box. Uh, we already took one or two packs out of the other side, so we're roughly halfway done now. Oh, Umbreon V, sweet. I love me some Umbreon. Definitely my favorite evolution. I'd say Vaporeon's a close second, then maybe Espeon, but uh, definitely Umbreon's number one. That's cool, we got a V. Maybe we'll even uh, get a V Max of her. That would be pretty, pretty appealing. Uh, obviously, the uh, alternate art of the V Max we're really, really hoping for someday, but that's good still. Just hitting the uh, Umbreon V is definitely nice. Alright, we're done with the, ooh, Vaporeon VMAX, I think that's full art, I'm not entirely sure, might be full art, might not, I have to actually look at the arts to tell, uh, like pull them up on uh, TCG player or something to tell which one is which. Alright, so we got our two favorite evolutions, not bad. So we are on the uh, left-hand side again, so we're a little under half a box to go. Uh, I guess I'm kind of curious what everyone's favorite evolutions are. Uh, probably have a decent sample size here, so I'd be interested to know that for sure. Uh, if anyone else is in the Umbreon camp, I definitely want to know that. Uh, Umbreon's, in my mind, the clear winner. All right, looks like we got another V. Noivern, okay. Don't think that's one we want. But uh, Noivern is a cool Pokemon, though. I've always liked it. It's got some really good base stats. It's got a nice move pool on the special side. All right, but the important thing is it is a hit, technically. Even if it's a bulk hit. Ooh, we got something here. Looks extra shiny. Garbodor. Alright. Got another V right there. And so we probably got, I don't know, roughly 10 packs to go here. So let's see what else the box has for us. We should get, let's see. Well, we're going to get one to five more hits, 
Chances are it's more 1 to 3 range, but 1 to 5. Dialga again. Uh, that's one thing you'll notice a lot with the uh, Pokemon products, especially uh, lately, or I guess even in the past with smaller sets too, you'll get a lot of duplication in your uh, rare slot. That is for sure. A lot. Uh, I've had boxes where between the normal rares and the reverse rares, I just have a playset of a card. So those are always interesting. So, you know, still got a good amount of packs, man. 36 pack boxes feel good. I miss that. Alright, Eevee. Oh, I really wanted an evolution behind her. That would have been nice. Grab two by accident. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, Rayquaza VMAX. That's a nice one. That is very, very playable. All right. We like that. All right, so we got two VMAXs out of this box. Vaporeon and Rayquaza. Oops. Throwing packs everywhere. So that's pretty good. Uh, a lot of boxes, it feels like you only get one VMAX. So we're definitely ahead there. Let's just take the rest of the packs out. Make the lighting a little bit better since the box won't be blocking everything. And see what we got. SQ again. I do like that SQ art a lot. Oh, it's just floating on uh, another SQ head. But yeah, I really wonder if they... Not Ice Body. I forget what the ability is, but uh, whatever... Uh... Ooh, Galarian Moltres is really nice. Uh, whatever uh, the ability is where he loses the head after he takes the damage. I wonder if they ever did a card like that. It looks real goofy. Real goofy. Oh, we got another V. A second Umbreon V. Perfect. Alright, look at that. That's one of the best Vs you can get financially, but it's also my favorite. So this is a fun box. Oh my gosh. We're actually getting a lot of good hits here. Uh, the Rayquazas are also really good. Uh, they see a lot of play. And then, of course, uh, alternate art Leafeon. Uh, I think the Leafeon's worth, like, 30 to 40 bucks. I don't think it's going to be one I keep. It's probably going to be one I toss up on TCG Player. But it's really cool just to get an alternate art. Ooh, another Rayquaza V. What is this box? Okay. Well, last pack. I'm not expecting anything out of it, that's for sure. I've already done insanely well. And a Raichu Hollow. Okay. Okay, this one's weird. The code card is just before the uncommons. I don't really understand that. I've never seen a code card before the uncommons. Well, this box is a little weird. Okay, well, whatever, I guess. All right, so let's leave up a couple of these uh, while we close her out. Uh, so we're super excited to get the two Umbreons. Uh, we didn't get the VMAX Umbreon, but we did get the V. And then in the box, we did get two VMAXs. So that's pretty exciting, honestly. Let's sleeve both the VMAXs up. Then we'll sleeve the Rayquazas up. So that's that's a hell of a box. Uh, we're definitely not upset by any means. That means we only got two bulk Vs out of a box. That's kind of ridiculous. Normally, uh, more than half of your Vs are bulk, but yeah. These Umbreons, these Rayquazas are really great. 
uh, Garbodor and Noivern, whatever, you know. And then that Leafy on alternate art is just nice to see. All right, well, that was a hell of a box. Uh, I randomly picked it out of the case, and I'm very excited about it. I picked the one, I guess it wasn't completely random. I picked the one that I thought looked most damaged. Uh, just because if I get damaged product, I prefer to open it. And, uh, really glad we did. This is insane. So, that's exciting. Uh, if you want your own box, I have just a few of them up on the store still. Not really interested in selling my entire position of them, but I figured I'll let a few go. Again, Wixos, we have about three cases, I think, and some change of the current set, the Interlude Divas. And we also have the pre-order up for the set in March that comes out. Uh, that comes with uh, Promo Pack, I believe, Promo Pack Volume 2, uh, since it is the first printing. Uh, what else? Yeah, recently we upped... Or we got up the Kobayashi pre-orders, Tokyo Revengers pre-orders. We still have, I think we have a lot of Mashoku left. Uh, Rena Girlfriend, we're running really low on. Uh, the main thing for Rena Girlfriend, I think, is we have only twenty-four trial decks, I think, left in this store. Somewhere around there. So if you want sealed bricks, just order by the six, but um, order quantity of six. Uh, but there's only a few sealed bricks left. Uh, I don't know if we have loose boxes left, and I think we have one case left, if I remember correctly. So that's it, though. Uh, Running Girlfriend's almost gone. Comes out in less than a month, so... You know, obviously, uh, most of the pre-orders came in recently. But that was, that was an exciting open. That was an exciting opening, sorry. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, seeing the second Umbreon V definitely, uh, definitely was a real big one for me. I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. But I uh, hope you guys uh, have a good week, good weekend, all that stuff. There's not a ton of Y Swartz product coming out until Run a Girlfriend, so we're kind of going to be running dry on stuff to do videos on. Uh, so you might not see too many videos coming up. But uh, once Run a Girlfriend comes out, we'll definitely have a case opening of that. Mashoku, I don't know how much I'm opening. But a case feels like the lowest possible amount. We may uh, end up opening a lot more than we originally thought. Uh, love Mashoku, for sure. So, uh, that's it, though. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and uh, share the video out to any of your friends who you think might enjoy card opening uh, videos. Happy to uh, welcome anyone to the community. Alright, thanks all.